everyone. Thanks for joining us for another Good Life video. This week, we are in Seward County. Seward County is in the southwest corner of the state and is the county just west of Lancaster County. I think we've got a great video of our first county for you this week. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Every year, thousands of people come to Seward, Nebraska to enjoy the 4th of July. And that is what Seward County is known for. But that's not all there is. There's also the Old Glory Theater, a repurposed church built in 1873, which hosts the Goner Centennial Players annual melodramas. And now, without further ado, ado, what's that mean? It's what you say in a when. <laughs> and the village of Utica, which sits on the western edge of Seward County. A town just under a thousand people, rich in history and deep in heritage, so much so they named the town celebration Heritage Days. Not only to remember the past, but also inspire the future, with many of the events focused around games and fun for kids. Hi! Of all ages. No! Which brings us to one of the biggest events of the weekend, the Big Blue Mile Shootout. Organized by Todd and Melissa Gransky, along with their daughter Kara and their son Dylan, which boasts that the whole idea was his. The race was full of pimped out Corvettes like Utica's 1982 Centennial grad Jason Durier. A Husker fan, even though he lives in Colorado. The race was also host to all types of other hot cars from Cobra Mustangs. To a 2018 BMW M4 competition with less than 900 miles. There were lots of tricked out motorcycles as well. And even a 2015 Toyota Prius. Big Blue Mile Shootout is broken down into half mile racers like this 50 year anniversary Chevy Camaro. As well as the older Chevy Camaros. And who wouldn't like to see a McLaren that ran the half mile at 157.7 miles an hour? The motorcycles also gave a great show with half mile speeds exceeding 150 miles an hour up to 176.6 miles an hour. Watch them go. And last but not least is the 134 horsepower 2015 Prius cruising at a respectable 97.7 miles an hour half mile. Mile racers were a speed dream, especially Jeremy Bolton, 202.9 miles an hour. It was most certainly a day of speed south of the sleepy little village of Munich, Nebraska. This is the place I call good life. Until next time, remember to like, share, and spread the good life around. Thanks for watching. So, hopefully you enjoyed that video. The Big Blue Mile is going to happen again here in about a month. This year though, unfortunately, they're not going to be able to have any spectators due to the COVID scares and the social distancing that's going on. But you can check out their web page bigbluemile.com that I will list here. I also will put it in the description below. You can also check out their Facebook that is here. 
if you do wish to participate and want to have a motorcycle or a car or a truck or whatever uh, you can check out the Big Blue Mile page and they will have a bunch of information for how to sign up what the entry fee is this is the fundraiser for our local fire departments in the area so it's a really great service and it's a lot of fun so till next time we thank you for watching we hope you have a great day and live the best good life you can